Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So we're doing something a little different. I used to do these on my channel about like a year ago now. Uh, back then it was called Do's and Don'ts, but they're a little outdated um, and I've gotten a few requests for this. So today we're gonna be doing a heist guide actually. So first off, for those of you who don't know, heist is a 3v3 game mode where the objective is to do more percent to your opponent's safe than they do to yours. Uh, I think you have like two minutes, two and a half minutes to do it. And alternatively, you can just like destroy their safe and first one to 0% wins the game and it'll just end like right there. Okay, so way back when there was one safe in heist and the only viable comps would be a tank, a thrower, and a DPS. It used to be like, okay, there was one map where you could use Brock, but it was always like Colt, Crow, Barley, or like Bull or something like that. Um, Colt and Crow were like rotating. But there was one attacker and one defender and Supercell tried balancing it and it was just like a nightmare. They could like never get it right. So um, they ended up just adding two heists or two saves to heist and that's where we are today. Now the maps and everything have like completely changed. I think there's only like one that's still in the game from way back when. Um, there might not even be any actually. But uh, now you can pretty much use like a bunch of comps. So I'm gonna like give you guys some example of like comps and just like kind of the mindset that you want to go into it with okay so my personal favorite one is just a control comp now for comps like this you want to have brawlers that are good at just like kind of poking the safe down and holding mid control not letting anyone you kind of have like a line that you don't want the other team to pass and you just like you want to spawn trap them you don't want to overextend you just want to like chip down the safe um so an example of like brawlers in a comp you play like this would be Penny, you know, you get like the turret out. Um, Barley, you can just poke and like kite back, like Max, good for that too. Spike, of course. Um, but there's like, there's a bunch of other things you could do too. So another example of a different strategy would be having like one brawler that's like designated a defense, uh, something like a B, which would do like literally nothing on offense pretty much. So that would just be for mid control and defense. And B is actually really effective at this. You can also do stuff um, like spike M's, but spike and M's are also, they're really good at transitioning into offense just because they have high DPS and spikes gadgets just really good right now. Um, it's like designed for heist and siege pretty much just because it's kind of awkward otherwise, but um, they are both really good on defense as well. All right, one other strategy that is kind of notorious right now is triple tank. Uh, it's super simple to play and I've never really been a fan, but we did use it in our last qualifiers and it worked really, really well. Uh, ideally, like the whole strategy behind it is you just have so much HP that your opponents like have to stay in their base and defend the entire time. If they don't, then you just like collapse on them and you just take out their safe. It works really well in Siege too. And for Siege, it's like mid control. Maybe if you guys like the heist one, I'll do one on Siege next or like Brawl Ball or something. But um, pretty much you just want to like overwhelm, overwhelm your opponents with triple tank. Now, these are all like viable strategies. You just gotta like figure out what maps they work on. And there's other strategies of course too. These are just some that come to mind. And you just got to figure it out and see what works for you. If you're playing in a tournament, like hopefully, you know, your enemy team and kind of like what they like to play. And you can like base it around that a little bit as well, too. OK, so the number one question that I get asked uh, about heist and even like I'm not OK, I've gotten like pretty good with it, but um, I'm not always 100 percent sure it's when to attack when to hold and when to defend. And a lot of it is just like in the moment, like split decision making. So. You know, you gotta live with your actions. You can't really like go back, you'll waste too much time. So you gotta be like sure of what you wanna do. So some stuff to like consider if you're like thinking of going for all out attack or dropping back for defense. What brawler do you and your team have? What brawlers do your opponents have? How much percent's on your safe? How much percent's on your opponent's safe? Are you or your opponents close or have super? Um, or do they have gadget charges left? And also just, is anyone defending their safe? Is anyone defending your safe? Um, so it's a lot to consider and like I said, it's usually split decision unless like you think you're just gonna like go for a base race with like triple tank or something like that. But I think the most important part for that is understanding your brawlers versus your opponent's brawlers. All right, so a few examples of brawlers that you can honestly just like go to your safe would be like Nita without her super, of course, you do not wanna let Hyper Bear on your safe or like something like a B. Um, they pretty much tickle your safe. I think they do like 3% and they don't really have like the fastest like reload speed. So odds are that your brother does like is way more of a threat to their safe than they are to your safe. So a really good strategy is if you do have one of those lanes, just see if you can like trade cleanly and like just kind of like let them go for your safe and you go for their safe. It's a misplay on their part, but a lot of people do fall for it. And 
it's not really any threat to your safe unless you're like safe's kind of low then you got to be more careful but heist is like literally all just judgment so that's something you got to consider Something else that's really important too is knowing if you have anyone on defense or anyone that's going to drop back and go on defense and if your opponents have anyone on defense. Now we've talked about base racing a few times and typically if there's a one good defender on the team that's base racing meaning that two go up and one stays back and let's say it's like a spike or something um, and they have three like triple tanks just coming in and they're just collapsing on your safe. Odds are the spike can take one of them out at least and at least slow them down. They're gonna give them so much value because they just wanna collapse on the safe. And if the spike can defend decently, meaning like he won't go down right away and he can just like slow them down and like draw their attention off the safe, then odds are that your team will win as long as you guys have like good DPS brawlers on the safe. So a few more notable brawlers that are good on defense would be B and M's. Um, now B, you pretty much only want a player in like mid control comps or if you think your opponent's going triple tank just because she's so good at dealing with those and just slowing them down. She can literally like 1v3 a team of triple tanks in like no time. Uh, so she's definitely my favorite brawler to defend against triple tanks with just because she can also range them out and slow them down really easily. And even her gadget, like it's kind of a crap gadget, but it's pretty good against triple tanks, especially when they're trying to collapse on your safe. And then M's is just so broken right now. Uh, so obviously you want to use hype on M's right now and she's pretty much like immortal if like people like try collapsing on her and you just got to kite them back a little bit and just let your auto aim do the rest but uh, those brawlers are all really good defenders. So brawlers that you want for offense it's literally just like any high DPS brawlers so examples would be like tanks, M's, barley, like any throwers, uh, max, etc with run and gun. But um, just any brawler that can do a high amount of damage in a short amount of time because odds are we've been talking about base races a lot but it's not always going to be a base race and you just want to get as much burst damage as you can on the safe as possible before you get taken out. Um, ideally you do want to stay alive but that's not always the case and sometimes you gotta like die just to get more damage um, especially in like those last few seconds so you really want to get like those high DPS brawlers to the safe if possible. However, you also need to take into consideration supers, star powers, and gadgets. So, talked about Nita's bear a little bit. Uh, that would definitely be one, especially if you have the star power hyper bear on it. Then that's really game changing and can like sway the game super fast. Uh, Penny's mortar, super impactful, and it just goes to town on the safe. Especially if you have that star power too. I think it's called last blast, but it's pretty much designed just for heist and siege too, I guess, because safes. But. Uh, they can do so much damage there to the save if left alone and sometimes you honestly just have to like play around and like keep the aggro of the turret on if your safe's really low it can just die by the last blast impact uh so you just gotta like play around with the penny turret and like make sure it's locked onto you and not your safe um also 8-bits damage booster it's really really huge um he's not the best brawler in the game right now but you know he's ran heist before and i'm sure he will at some point they gotta buff him because he's like way too weak right now but uh you can just get really good value off stuff like that so something else that you need to watch out for is gadgets uh two that come to mind are daryl and spikes so they're pretty much useless unless you're on the safe uh and then they're just really game changing i think spike can do like 10k damage to the safe with his gadget and I'm not sure about Daryl, but I know it is a lot as well. So there's a few other that you got to like watch like Brock's for positioning or something like that. But you really need to keep an eye on some of those brawlers with the high damage gadgets. Okay, guys, something else that I didn't really talk on much is communication um, and heist communications. Definitely very, very important. So I recommend VC, but obviously it's not you're not always going to be in VC with your teammates. A lot of it, hopefully you have a team that you can play with consistently and then you just kind of like start getting to know each other's habits and it's just understanding the mode. Like I said, it's all decision making and heist and one good decision, one bad decision can win or lose you the game. So it's just practice. Um, you got to make tough calls. And I remember like when I first started playing heist, like I never just wanted to like base race. Like I always wanted to play defense. It's just like natural for me to be like more passive. I think it's like the brawlers I use too. So I like the long range, like poke brawlers mainly, but, um, Definitely, you gotta like get comfortable with it and it's just practice getting used to the mode, getting used to the trades that you do and shouldn't take and uh, just judgment calls. So I hope you guys enjoyed the guide. If you do like it, uh, let me know. I can do something else for all the other modes besides showdown. I don't, I don't want to touch showdown. <laughs> I don't think I'm qualified with like my 200 wins, but um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the guide, let me know. I'm definitely looking to do more thought out videos instead of just gameplay all the time. I'm getting like a little bored of that too. So, 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.